First off, where do you want to build your base? So, I don't recommend building near a portal, unless you want to, but you don't need to, because you can make your own portal, as you can see here. And I was building, like, somewhere that was protected at first, but then I realized you don't need to, because your respite round is pretty safe, and you can sleep at night. And you can make minor cards that make it always daytime and stuff like that. So build wherever you want. I built next to the essence trader because the essence trader you can get materials from very easily if you just happen to not have any at the time. Like if you need a piece of glass, you can just buy a piece of quartz. But basically, how this works is you get so far through the story, you'll get a portal blueprint. And then you get the realmic transmuter for the minor cards. And then you get fairy rings. Now, fairy rings are just respawn points that you can use in other realms. Now, once you build your portal, you're going to come here. You're going to build a card. So you need a biome card and a major card. Now this is a major card. Anti like Antiquarian, Astrolab, Abeyance. These are major cards. And then you're going to pick a biome. So in my place, I... I I, in my case, I picked Antiquarian and Desert. So, in Antiquarian and Desert, I have this portal set up. And what you'll do is you'll hit E on the portal, put your two cards in, and then you wait for the portal to spawn. And then you can walk through it. It might take a little bit because it's online. And it has to create the realm on the other side. But once you come through, you'll realize that the realm on the other side is a combination of your two cards plus your difficulty level. So Antiquarian adds 20, Desert adds 0, and then Hardcore adds 40 levels. I think Hard adds 20 levels and Normal adds no levels. I'm not sure about Easy. Easy probably makes it 20 levels less. So here you see I'm in the Antiquated Desert. Now, the question is, if I go back, what happens? So the first thing I'll tell you is, if I walk through this portal, I'll come right back in on the other side. And this will still be here. Everything will still be here. I can walk back through, come back right where I am. Next thing I'm going to tell you is, wherever your car is, that's where you'll travel to when you travel to Respite. So before you leave your realm, Make sure you have a portal set up to your realm. And then you can always come back. If you're on somebody else's realm, you're not going to be able to come back here unless they invite you. So, before you hit travel to respite, just make sure that you have a way to get back here. But if I hit travel to respite, I'd go back to my original realm, where my base is. So I can come in here, I can farm whatever I need, and then I can go back. And when I go back, I'll have everything I want back at my base, in my estate. So you're going to keep building upon your estate as you go through the game. You're going to add more portals around your base as you play through the game. And then once you get so far, you'll be able to uh, make your own portals. But basically, I got to go back to the other thing. So there's a card you can give people. It's called an estate card. If you give someone a state card, they can join your realm whenever they want. And basically, even if you're offline, so you can give away your state card, or you can invite people to your realm. But the big thing to remember here is, let's say you're a group of friends. Let's say me and you want to play together. I invite you to my server. Now you start working on this server, but you don't want to lose all your stuff. What you do is you put down a Karn on the other person's server, and now you gotta share a server. Because that server is always online. That's how Nightingale works. But nobody can come to your realm while you're offline unless you let them. And that's what this estate card does right here. A state address card. Now, 
you have two cairns up, you'll share a server. If you have portals inside your base, you can go to that server. If you want to come back to the server, you can travel to a respite. But what about in the realm I'm going to? How do I set up a base there? Well, you do everything normal, right? You go through the portal, get your materials, you build your base. But instead of making a cairn, this time you're going to make a fairy ring. And you'll see players will respawn at the nearest fairy ring or respite point to them. So when you go through this portal, normally you would respawn at the portal on that side. What, what you'll do if you put a fairy ring down is you'll spawn wherever the fairy ring is. So you're going to build a base, put your fairy ring in or near that base, and then you'll be able to respawn there while you're on the map without having to come back here. And then, once you get everything you want from that realm, you can bring it all back here by traveling to respite and putting it in chests. So I hope that helped people understand a little better. I know there's a lot of questions involved. Um, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. If you want to support me, there's a t there's a link in the description below. Buy me a coffee. That money goes directly to me. So that helps me a lot too. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.